Hi students, in this video, the experimental setup, it consists of highly evacuated discharge tube. So, this is one highly evacuated discharge tube. See, actually, this experiment is consists of two parts. The diagram is set uh, is splitting into two parts. This is the first part. So this is the one part of discharge tube. So this this side, the left hand side is connecting on battery. It consists of highly evacuated discharge tube. This is the one part of dis discharge tube. See inside the this discharge tube it consists of one cathode and one anode this cathode and anode is connecting high voltage battery this cathode and anodes are connecting high voltage battery Dear students, already we know this cathode is are producing by discharge between this cathode to anode. This only, this like only the cathode is are producing. Dear students, see, this is the another part of the discharge tube. This is the another part of this cathode ray discharge tube here there is a end is not there up to here to there up to this much one part this gap is not there this is the second part of discharge tube now only fully completed now this producing cathode rays are accelerated towards to the anode this is cathode this is anode then this anode having a narrow pin hole so this is a one hole having this is not a closed it's a open only so this anode having one small narrow pin hole narrow pin hole so the producing cathode is i mean this electron beam so this electron beam is comes out and reach the other end of the discharge tube. I repeat again. This is the one part. This is the another part. Here producing cathode rays in between cathode to anode. By varying the potential difference between the cathode and anode. Already we know producing discharge tube. Just refer that one. See here. In anode having one small narrow pin hole so the producing cathode rays this cathode ray is reach the other end of the discharge tube 